<laughs> hi hi welcome back hi hi, hi. to um huh? dr2 with veggie and bun bun very good very ten good. ten out of ten series because bun bun is in it oh he's so cute <laughs> yeah honey veggie very cute is veggie's perfect i want veggie Oh, you're perfect too, love. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we get to hang out with people today. I don't know, crazy. Something Veggie doesn't do. <laughs> yeah, you don't do that, actually. <laughs> wow, look at all the uh, Monokumas I got. Honey, <laughs> you're missing. I missed some? Yeah, you're missing the bottom ones. Did I already miss the chapter one Monokumas? Good question. Should um, I check? Yeah, I mean, from what it looks like, there's five rows, so maybe there's five slots of Monokumas. Or not, oh, sorry, I meant to say. Like, there'd be a set, there'd be a, there'd be a, there'd be a row of Monokumas for the five chapters in this game. Just a theory of mine. <laughs> A game oh. theory. Dom Dom. What? That man is retired. So let him rest. Okay. Mm, okay. Oh, I pulled the map. Okay. So, who should we hang out with today? Hmm. Do I do I do I do variety or do I be based? <laughs> huh? Do I do I go for variety or do I be, do I be based? <laughs> Why not both? Okay, we can do like one variety and then one based. So yeah, I was thinking about hunt, hanging out with a uh, Gundam because he's funny. Gundam? Yeah. <laughs> I don't really have any. Oh, I gotta find his ass. Where is he at? Uh oh. Is something bad happening with my pet? Oh. My pet is in a cocoon now. Is that what's- cocoon? What's happening to my pet, honey? Honey! What? <laughs> He's evolving. Yeah, that's why I said my pet's in a cocoon. <laughs> He's evolving, hon. Oh wow, great. Yeah, so I gotta figure out where um, everybody is on the map right now. Um, uh, that's concerning. Why is he in the old building? <laughs> emo era. Yeah, emo. Okay. Um, we got the girls at the beach. Girls at the beach. Girls at the bridge. He's, honey, oh, I'm he's at, at the, the ancient beach. ruin. Okay, honey, you're at the beach. Okay, he's at the ancient ruin. Sure, I guess I we'll love teleport the beach. there. Oh, good on you, love. The beach is fun. I mean, good on Very you, relaxing. Love. You join me? I would you join you. Join me? Dummy. Mama. Excuse me. Oh, that mama. I would join you at the beach. It's Thank very you. fun. Yeah. Oh, okay. What well, we got into the um, I mean, I, I like walks. Walks are fun. Okay, you can walk alone then. Uh -huh. Damn, why am I alone now? Because <laughs> I found your cod, bro. Cuddle at in, the beach? On the... Yeah. Okay, like, sure. We can, we can lay on the towel and then cuddle and Yay. eat chips mm. and some yummy soda on perfect day. Sure, I like the perfect day. Mm -hmm. I'm on the borderline of developing a relationship with a human, you say? Huh, <laughs> you make me laugh. I'm the supreme overlord of ice. Everything about me is different from humans. My thought process, my principles, my existence, my foundation, everything. My foundation. My <laughs> foundation. <laughs> yeah, let's hang out. You want to get closer to me? <laughs> Such a meaningless act. You should already be aware of it, the fear you feel towards an existence you can't possibly understand. 
<laughs> we continued talking as if we were on two separate wavelengths until it was time to leave. And <laughs> now he's straight face. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hon, 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 Honey, you wifey. need to buy presents. Did I not do that yet? No. Ah, well, thanks for reminding me that I need to do that. You have lots of money now. Well, good. My question is, where's the shop even at? You know this the big mall? Uh, the supermarket? Yeah. Go there. It's better if you don't get any closer than that. An automatic barrier which is generated independently of my will. It's not like I'm getting close or even planning to get close. Which reminds me, there's something I haven't asked you yet. It doesn't matter that your temporary name is Hajime Hinata. Tell me your true name, fiend. What the heck is this true name thing? Yeah, that's how like a baby. So you're not fun. foolish enough to tell me so easily. Then tell me your hidden name. I don't have anything like that. And then what is your special well, ability? There's no way I have one of those. Hmm. So you really are just a mere human. I suppose it can be helped. Then let me talk to you about something that is that even a mere human can understand. Ask me anything. Oh, so I have to ask. However, it's free for you to ask, but make sure you try not to understand. After knowing my true terror, it'll be quite a sight to see how long your sanity will last. Does he want to talk or not? Which is it? Talk to him starting to get annoying, but he's totally ready and waiting for me. I guess I have to ask something. Um, what do you do with your free time usually? So you're interested in my lifestyle? Fine then. I shall reveal a portion of that to you. Trading, human hunting, craft spell components, etc. Despite my looks, I'm quite the busybody. However, managing my website takes up the bulk of my time. Huh? Obviously, sorcerers around the world are waiting to see my research results. Of course, my website has been magically enchanted so only the chosen ones can view it. A mere human like you will only be able to access the dummy site called Exciting Breeding Journal. Veggie? Veggie <laughs> dummy site? You saw that? Dummy site? Got, That's for Veggie. You only, yeah, you got a whole set for dumbasses like you. <laughs> Yay! Site. Oh, I'm so beloved. I Yay. love Veggie. I love you too. Veggie's, veggie's such a skinny and I love <laughs> I'd rather check out the Ultimate Breeders Exciting Breeding Journal anyway. Then well, uh, I will make sure to show you. Well, if we ever get out of here, that is. Well, well are there any other questions? Mwah. Yay. What's your favorite food? Hmm. You certainly hit the mark well. I'm fond of the orange melon which bears the face of the devil. Uh, are you talking about a pumpkin? Pumpkin, honey mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> First we have dummy Reggie. mention, now pumpkin. <laughs> Reggie. Reggie, we cannot play this together. This is terrible. We keep on obsessing over each other. This is not yep. <laughs> well. There is no other food as high in nutrients nor as versatile to a variety of cooking methods. More importantly, its seeds are the most effective food source for my four dark devils of destruction. However, you must carefully wash them, dry them in the sunlight. Peel off the thick skin, or the thin skin, um, and lightly sunflower? fry Sunflower? Sunflower seeds? Ah, uh, sunflower seeds. I see. Sounds pretty difficult. Is there anything in this world that isn't difficult? Pleasure and yeah. pain are irrelevant as long as you have a purpose, and take action for that sake. You're right. Loving That's exactly right. Loving veggie is unconditional and not hard at all. Oh yeah, I love Bun Bun very much. Yeah, me too. Gundam is hard, it's hard to understand sometimes, but I do understand the intent behind his words. Somehow, even though it's only a little, I feel like I'm starting to get to know him a little better. Wow, my report card updated. After showering Gundam with questions until he was satisfied, he finally let me go. Yeah, now I'm going to buy uh, some presents before Wait, I forget. Bye. I forgot, let me check. No, it's honey checking. No, the Monokuma thing. Oh yeah, please check that. Also, it looks like I have mail. Can I check that? Or is that just like a part of the environment? 
Hold on. What, what do we call them? Mm, like Monokuma trophies or something? Oh, it's shaking. <laughs> Honey is ascending too much. <laughs> oh, hidden Monokumas. Hidden Monokumas. That's what they're called. Oh. It became a snake! Honey, I got, a, honey, I got a snake now. <laughs> Cute. That's not what I meant to do. Honey, where did you go? I somehow went to the hotel. Let's not do that. Honey, there are five. There are five? Yeah. In what? Okay, the one is in the mall. There's, but you probably got one. There's one in the market? Yeah. Next to the vending machine. Vending machine. Oh, you got that one. Okay, you got that one. Okay. Yeah, let's purchase something. Um. This isn't. It's, it's, oh. it's, uh... it's not a gotcha machine anymore. You just buy whatever you want. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure. But sure. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, those are the gift section. That was man's nut. <laughs> hey, hon. Oh, hey, wifey. Did you find a monokuma in the airplane thing? I haven't been to the airport in a while. You should check that one. Okay. And the another one is um in the abandoned warehouse. Buy some jewelry. Um, camera. <laughs> I, know, camera? I know. I know. I know who the camera is for. Yeah, um, I know who the sunflower seeds are for. I could have given that to him. Yeah. Uh, potato chips. That's a very generic one. What the hell is on on on? Help. Help doesn't tell me. I, I guess I'll buy it. And whatever that is, <laughs> that might be a game. I don't know. Go stone. Tips and tips, second edition. Um, chocolate chip jerky. Blue ram. Definitely not uh, inspired by Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> I and, love Red Bull. Yeah, and mineral water. You better buy me Red Bull. Oh, I know Cutie likes it. A famous anti-energy drink that'll make you feel very relaxed after drinking it. Honey, I want one. Aw, gives. Aw, thank you. You're welcome, baby. Uh, let's see. Some, some jewelry. A thick book that has hints and codes for every game ever released. Oh, well I know who that's for. <laughs> So it's a strategy guide. Got a toy camera. Black and white stone used to play Go. Oh, the um. Isn't that a, um. That's a Japanese game, right? Yes. Doesn't it have another name? Yes. I think uh, Othello, maybe. What's this? A fashion magazine for teenage girls and women. It's articles about fashion trends. Ah. Wonder who that's for then. <laughs> I mean, who here would wanna like. Who here would wanna like be more, you know, womanly? So I, <laughs> I don't know. Alright. So. Oh yeah, I wanna go to the beach. Because Honey is at the beach. Yay! Yay! I'm happy. Oh, happy, I get hun. to hang out with Veggie. Oh, yes, with Veggie. Mm -hmm. Actually, before I go to beach then, I should check out the airport. Oh, yeah, you should. Just because. So there's the no, beach. No, just because, because I told you. Because Wifey suggested it's a good idea. Uh. 
Yeah, airport. Uh, Look to the right. Look to the right. Oh, he, he was sitting at that, but but one of those bad guys. He's. Did you pick him up from here? Probably not. I don't know. I don't think I. I don't think I came here during uh, chapter one when they introduced that mechanic. Because I didn't really have a reason. Yeah. To, I didn't really have a reason to come here. So I, I've, I've just kind of been picking up the Monokumas as I've, you know, seen them. That sucks, huh? Yep, guess we're not 100 percent Danganronpa 2. <laughs> Rip. I'll see how many I can get, though. Oh, well, there's one right there. Or that's just, I don't know. That, that's just that's a poster. Oh. <laughs> the almighty mono mono machine? Well, I don't. Is that, yeah. Does it cost money? Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Oh, this is where you uh, spend money. That's, yeah, that too. So that, there's the gambling machine right there. It's on the beach yeah. for some reason. I thought, uh. I thought people were- I thought she was at the beach. Oh, I think it's on the other island, actually. Yes, yeah, the ball. Ball. I'm gonna do my goofy walk cycle. So we walk into the second island. Alright, so we go to the second island beach. That's not where the beach mm. is. That's the diner. The drugstore. Library. I mean, we were just here not too long ago, but we went to buy, like, gifts and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I might get a level up on the way there, though. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. They're not here either. I dumb. Yes, Veggie is dumb. Mmm. <laughs> I guess I am. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> Whoops. You whoops. Veggie silly. Wait a minute, they switch the locations now. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, yeah, because it's been. One turn. Okay, I guess we're going to the hotel then. I'm silly, hon. Yeah, silly veggie. Veggie is silly. <laughs> we got my two favorite people in here. <laughs> Wifey and the funny psychopath man who's upstairs. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what's up with that ancient ruin. Obsessing over yourself doesn't solve anything, right? Yeah, I could stop thinking about how play video games. Based. Let's battle, Hajime. I battled Chiaki and got my butt kicked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Looks like Honey and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, we'll give Honey, uh, you know, the most obvious present of all time. I could give you the energy drink, but let's do this first. Yeah. Hmm? Isn't that a pretty rare item? Honey, what did you give me? I gave you a strategy guide. Also, you saw that horse? Mm-hmm, yeah, I did. Hmm, this is a little... I feel like I might waste a flood. Are you sweet? Uh, <laughs> that does me right now. Hey, if you're that sleepy, why don't you just go back to your room and sweep? Uh, no, since you're here, let's talk. Hey, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad whenever I feel tired, so I force myself to stay awake. 
I think it's wholesome. If you give up at this level, you'll never defeat the Warlock Lord. I adventure into it like this. That's all you're gonna get. Looks like she's half asleep. Huh? I can't believe you don't get my sh Shadow Gate joke. Hey, if you're bored, you wanna go somewhere? You might wake up if you go for a walk. I want to go to a fun place. A fun place, huh? Um. Hmm. The park might be fun. Dum dum, that's a very veggie option. A very, very veggie option. How about the park? When you play a game at the park, all the kids just go around for no reason. If it was a game, you're only able to play in the sun. It's very difficult for idols and shuttles to play. Looks like she wants to go somewhere else. Uh, the supermarket. I love supermarket, Dum Dum. Yay. Here you go check out the supermarket. I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. Yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> I, I love killing people. Typical especially bun. in SPL with my snipe. A oh, honey snipe. I am a sniper. Chainsaws are the strongest though. It sounds fun, so it's fine. I don't really know what it means, but I guess it's fine if Honey's okay with it. Honey, honey. Wifey and I honey. went to the supermarket together, what? Aw, oh, hubby's so cute. Yay. Uh, you ever heard of a zombie knife? A zombie knife? Yeah, it exists. I'm not joking. Nope. Well, now you do. Hmm. We walked <laughs> through the aisles and looked around without buying anything. Cause this place is so big it has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass for the Star Festival. This place is too much of everything. Mm, what happened, honey? What is this? These sweets look cute. Oh, those are sweet rice crackers for girls' day. Man, this place is seriously everything. Honey, rice mentioned. <laughs> <gasps> Excuse me, rice? Yeah, rice. Mm, honey. Wifey. Will you get me rice again? Oh, sure. I see. They're called sweet rice crackers. You eat them during girls' day, you know? Girls' Day. Huh? You know, it's on March 3rd. You're a girl, didn't you celebrate it with your family? All pouty, hun. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. crap. Sure, she has her reasons for not knowing, but even so, it's nothing. Forget it. Forget what I said. I don't really mind. I did have a family. My father. You had a father? Then your mother? No, I shouldn't ask about something like that. Oh, Han. What? Oh. Do you know who her father is? Um. Maybe? <laughs> Do you? Maybe. I mean, maybe. But I, uh, won't say until it's revealed. <laughs> I don't know if it's ever revealed, to be honest, but it's very fun. Okay. Me okay. Okay, Chakudi. Oh, dog. Oh, wait, you feed. You have to Oh, yes, you best. You best, too. Hey. Hey, hey. So, what is Girls' Day anyway? It's a doll festival held on March 3rd. Dolls are set up so you can pray for girls' health and success. Honey. 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 What? Mark that. Mark that down. March 3rd. Right in your calendar. Yeah, right in the calendar right now that you gotta pray for me and oh, all of the other girls for our health and success oh, on my three. I mean, okay. Uh, where's my but phone? You, but you're falling asleep on me. We need okay. I'm not. Yes, you are. Freaky uh, head. I'll write that in the uh, Cinnabon guide. <laughs> Don't, know I mean, Cinnab Don't do it. Don't ruin the Cinnabon guide. 
What do you mean don't do it there? No! No! Where do I ride it then? Cinnabon guide is freaking for Veggie not knowing how to do stuff. Okay. March 3rd. Celebrate Girls Day. Wish what? wish for honey's health and success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. There we Where go. Where did you write that? Honey, where? I wrote it in my notes. Good job, very good. Yay. And then you eat stuff like sweet rice crackers or mochi that comes in different colors. But you, why can't you ever pronounce mochi? I gotta write that down. It's always <laughs> to bother me. Ma it's always Ma bother me. Mochi? Yep. Uh 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 uh. Uh 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 uh. uh, uh. What is it? No, no mochi. Yeah, I'm adding that right now. Hmm. Mochi. She so pronounced it like mochi. Alright, I got it. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I got it. You're very cute. Oh, you cute too, hon. I see. That's amazing, Hajime. You know a lot. Oh, how are you so happy? See, see, see me praise that you feel like. Yay! It's nothing, really. I'm not saying everyone's supposed to know this. But for her to not know what girls' day is, what kind of past does Honey have? It's fun to go places with someone. Plus, you teach me lots of interesting things. Hey, let's go somewhere again, okay? Yeah, let's do it again. We made that promise and left the supermarket. I need to think about a place I can take Honey that'll make her happy. Yay! Honey's report card been updated. Yeah. I took Honey back to her room, otherwise she'd just find a random place to fall asleep if I let her be. Yeah, that sounds like Honey, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I have to take Honey back to her room so she doesn't nap everywhere. <laughs> oh, come on, Dum Dum. <laughs> hmm, Hope's Peak Academy Script Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Emergency, emergency! Students, head over to Jabberwock Park as fast as you can! Come on, hurry up! Chop chop! Whoever gets there first, I'll treat you to my special made curry rice tomorrow night. Ooh. I want curry rice. Yeah, give honey. Come on, hurry the F up. Curry rice, huh? Feels like I haven't eaten that in a while. Wait, who'd actually fall for that? I don't know what he's playing this time around. But there's no way I can ignore it. Jabberwock Park. Again, huh? Yeah, let me uh, just save real quick and check on my pet. I got a snake. Yeah. Snakes are cool. Also, honey, you need to just give give the freaking presents to them. Give the presents? Oh yeah, I can yeah. do that. I can do that. Let's try that. Uh, does my pet like mineral water? <laughs> She liked it. Yay! I did it. It got a heart. See? <laughs> I did good. I mean, water is pretty, you know, simple. I know. So now we're at rank two. Let's check that out. He's hard to understand, but I can make out the gist of it. I'm interested in reading his exciting breeding journal, so he said he'd show it to me when we get out of here. And, uh, I'm done. Under soda. There we go. Oops. Um, she doesn't know about Girls Day. Everyone knows about that. I wonder why. She's happy that I teach her lots of new things and made me promise to see her again. Wow, I got, a, I got, I got three out of six already. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So if I finish all of those, then I guess I can, you know, max out someone else, right? Yeah. Sounds fun. I mean, it's important to 
to max someone else, you know? Yeah. You can buy skills with hope fragments. Oh. Haven't done this yet. Oh, this is cool, so I can actually choose what I want. Yeah. What do they do, though? Sail increases the influence gauge. The focus gauge. Hmm. I mean, are any of these even that good? Slightly steadies your aim. Oh, I could use that. <laughs> Take some potassium in, you know? It's pretty useful. Reduces your aiming speed. Increases your aiming speed. Decrease del decreases delay between firing truth bullets. Yeah, I like that. That is one of my problems with this game, is how long it takes to shoot shit. Increases the speed of memorizing a statement. Focus gauge decreases at slower rate. Increases damage to opponent. Increases bullet capacity. Well, as you'll lock on to two statements at once. Easier shift, move in your favor. Sh sharpness? What the hell does sharpness do? Oh, that's for the sword game? Increases max speed. Do you recommend anything, honey? Mm, no. I'm, I'm here for listening. Okay. My friend uh, said that... Remember the art I showed you of today? Mm-hmm. Uh, now I know what's wrong. She told me. Mm, what's wrong? She said the neck is too thick. That's the main problem. I just oh, I noticed see. that. Huh. Damn it. I can check my levels here. Cool. Well, you, sh you better, we better check the abandoned house for the hidden monokuma thing. There's a hidden monokuma in the house? In the warehouse, yeah. The place where the first uh, trial was, right? Or the, not the trial, the uh, first like investigation. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm such a slow poke. I'll head over to the park right away. But I'm not being slow on purpose. I tried to leave my college as soon as I heard the announcement. Well, I tried again. I must get a lot of hate for making excuses like this. You are probably thinking, if you have time for that, then hurry up. That girl, she tripped again. She's seriously so pitiful. That's not nice. Yeah. Actually, if anybody is slow, it's you. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, why'd I have to listen to that announcement? If only I didn't listen to it, then I wouldn't have to respond to that annoying summons. That's impossible. Those speakers are set up throughout the island, you know. Not only that, an excuse like I wasn't paying attention won't work on Monokuma. Hey, why are you scaring me? Ugh, damn it, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. So he wanted someone to back him up so he could step forward. Sort of understand how he feels. Is there anybody uh, goofing around? No? Okay. So you got some fluff dialogue. I'm guessing I can't. Go I I'm guessing I can't go to the cottage right now though because you know we gotta go places. We gotta go to the island. I think it's over this way. Do you mind me, uh, like, running to the island instead of just teleporting? To I get don't my mind. Level? I don't mind. Okay, good, because, yeah, it's, it's nice to get my level up. You know, even the game recommends, like, hey, instead of teleporting, why don't you, uh, why don't you walk there? Okay, so, Han, you probably got the abandoned one. Yeah? But, I don't think you'll ever get back to the other. Yeah, probably not. You know why? Because it's chapter one exclusive? Yep. 
It was in Biakia's freaking house. Oh. Well. Yeah, top, top ceiling. Did you did you look there? I don't remember. Well, we'll have to check the warehouse thingy. Um, if not, then you know where it was. <laughs> yep. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, cool. And the first one here, the curry is all mine. Here, let me, uh, let me put my bottle next to me so it's easier to grab. Thumbs up, are you that lazy? Yeah. Well, it's just that it's like behind my mic, so I don't want to, you know, go past my mic every time I want to grab the bottle. <laughs> but you're so damn lazy, it's so ridiculous. Hey, I want to, hey, it's called being comfy, honey. <laughs> it's called being freaking lazy, honey. No. Because Veggie, yes, because Veggie only wants to do mwah mwah and cuddle. And I do want to cuddle. No, and do mwah mwahs. But no picking up bottles. Yeah, I don't want to pick up my bottle every time. It's annoying. No, you're just lazy. I know I am. She totally oh, so took the bait. Admitted? Yeah, I admitted. Now you, you're cute. Yay! Wait, I'm cute, cute for being lazy. I... <laughs> yeah. How how does that work? Because um. Veggie's cute regardless of what you do. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Indeed. I wonder what kind of curry it is. What do you mean, what kind of curry? <laughs> Isn't there only like a couple there kinds? No. Yeah, there are kinds. I mean, besides like, oh. you know... You know, Indian curry, Asian curry... Those are the only Veggie. two I know. What? Veggie? Veggie? Honey? What the hell you mean Indian curry and Asian curry? Well, because I've had different kind. I've had a couple different kinds of curry. You know, Honey? What? What's Asian curry? Well, like Indian curry uses more like creamy orange sauce and uh, Asian curry is more like the red spicy sauce, you know? Are you slow? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Because you still haven't noticed what you said? What do you mean what I say? Where's India then? Oh yeah, India is in Asia, right? Well, I mean, I, I mean, I mean Indian like... Indian and Asian! <laughs> <laughs> I mean like Japanese curry. No, title gonna be <laughs> Indian and Asian curry. <laughs> no? Okay, I'll write that no. down. Veggie, this is ridiculous. I'm not gonna <laughs> forget that. No, I'm not gonna forget that. Veggie did not understand it either. In the thumbnail, this is gonna be Sonya doing this funny little pose. <laughs> yes, that that's me. That's me. <laughs> when it'll be bon bon when curry. That's curry is my favorite dish. You know that, right? Hmm. You know that, right? Know what? Curry is my fave dish. Oh, of course I know that. Good. Honey, I said that. Okay. You too? What? What's the scientific term for when you get hungry after you see the word curry? You guys are fucking stupid. Don't get worked up over something so idiotic. Hey, where the hell's Monokuma? Get out of here! Okie dokie, thanks for waiting! Thanks for the miracle of waiting! Oh, okay, everybody's just here now. Hey, Monokuma, I was the first one here. That means I got dibs on the curry. No need to rush, no need to rush. I'll properly treat you to my special made Monokuma curry tomorrow night. Monokuma curry? What is it, like half the curry white and half the curry black or something? Oh my goodness, I want that. I want that. <laughs> Monokuma branded curry. Yeah, I want. So, actually, yeah, that, you know what? That would make sense, actually. Because you'll have the white rice and then, like, some black sauce, maybe. There you go. Monokuma curry. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. 
It's an extremely delicious curry made from unknown meat, wilted vegetables, and a mysterious brand of rice. Ooh, mystery rice. <laughs> yes. I can't imagine anything delicious based on those ingredients. Now nah, my curry idea was better. Yes, for juice kit. Yay. No worries. It takes skill to make curry nasty. That is truly a nice line, but it is meaningless. Now, Monokuma, Dun -dun. let us no hear what your business eaten. is. However, you should know I, the Supreme Overlord, have very little time to spare, understand? If this is something foolish, know that I will feed your remains to these beasts. Uh huh, you haven't noticed yet? The reason why I summon you guys, if you look closely at this park, you should be able to notice the funny spinning gears in the background. Huh? Yes, honey. 4K gears. Can I look at the gears? No, I can't examine the gears? That's lame. Honey, to the right. Okay. Oh, okay, I'll look at the right in a sec. It seems Monokuma is up to something. What is he plotting this time? Mm, what's to the right, honey? Oh, you can't investigate that? The monitor? Oh no. This one? The arcade? This thing? Yeah. What is this? Ah! Isn't this an arcade machine? <laughs> That's correct! So, I would like the long-awaited recreation time to begin. Don't tell me you're gonna tell us to play this game. Hey, what's the game? What, what games are on this? She's totally into it, she's breathing really fast. I've only prepared one game, but it's truly a gem. After all, it's a game that I personally created! Damn, Monokuma's a game dev now? Crazy. Yeah. Huh, you did. And it, it is not something I could possibly look forward to playing. No, no, don't compare it to those amateur fan service games. You know, that famous game that everyone's been waiting for a sequel to? Well, I made a brand new game instead. Famous game? Now then, I shall present it. Wow. Ta-da! The name of the game is Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. What the heck? That's pretty lame. I wanna play kids with my brittle solving professors or collecting cute monsters. Stupid. Don't say such silly things. What if they get weighed down by all the quarters? My Syndrome is an adventure game series. The first one was released in 1996. It's about a group of high school girls who go exploring in order to verify the numerous group and new legends. The player controls the character like a cyclone scroller. Is this a reference to anything in particular? <laughs> I don't know, hon. I have no interest in weak things like video games. And I don't even know what generation a game that old is. With your face, I find that hard to believe. But adventure games are boring and tedious to play, right? Don't this adventure games. Besides, there's a lot of reasons to make one. You know, like budgetary reasons. Uh, I was a big fan of that series. I don't know why, but I feel like you saw you changing the series. Shouldn't you be tainting your face with tears of gratitude? I cast a spotlight on a neglected title! And what's the point of this game? Hmm? I mean, it's not like you're telling us to play it just to enjoy it, right? <laughs> you certainly noticed the good part! That's right! This game's gonna be your next motive! The motive, you need to kill people. After all, I'm gonna get bored if the next blacking doesn't show up soon. This game is the motive? In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme for mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. What does that mean? 
If you're interested, then try playing it. Okay. You can't. You gotta say no. The trap. Hey, if that's the motive, won't it be okay if we just don't play it? <laughs> that's absolutely right. You're quite the genius. I see. That never occurred to me. But are you sure you want to do that? Learning the motive means you're gonna be prepared, you know? Humans who are prepared and humans who aren't. I don't have to tell you which is strong and which is weak, right? What do you mean? For example, if someone secretly played it, that person might come and kill you. In the context of a preemptive strike, that's truly fatal. What do you mean? You guys are all enemies, you know. Is it really all right for your enemy to have an advantage? If you're gonna just ignore it, then do whatever you like. Even if you're fully aware of the situation. Bye bye! What the heck? Hey, what should we do? Even if you ask me, there's no way I'll know. Anyway, it would be dangerous to carelessly touch this game. There is no mistake in that. You are right. It might be better if we wait and see how this plays out. Yeah, classic wait and see approach. But oh, wouldn't it be bad if someone secretly played the game while we're waiting? Whoever well, gets the motive would become their hunter and the rest of us would be their prey. That's a messed up way to think about it. But she isn't wrong. But it's true. Heh, <laughs> it's your loss if you end up dying. All we need to do is kill if we want to win. I don't want to end up like Byaki or Taro Taro. After Fuyuhiko spat those words, we watched them turn and walk away. Well, but Fuyuhiko makes a good point. You do? Why are you saying? Do you really want to kill someone that badly? You don't like that. I mean, how can you be cautious if you don't even know what's the moment? That... Uh, that might be true, but... Uh... It doesn't matter. Huh? Well, if or otherwise, it doesn't matter. I'll let another killing happen. I'll never, ever let anyone... Another killing happen. Oh, I guess she's the next Byakuya. Ding dong, bing bong. Let's say... Jackie's traumatized. <laughs> hmm, I am sipping more of my fruit punch today. It is now 10 p.m., so it's not day anymore, actually. Please return to your rooms and go the fuck to sleep. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. I gotta go drink more punch. Oh, he's drinking Gatorade. Gatorade. <laughs> Alright, Gatorade. Sorry that time, huh? It's better if we just break for today. I'll try to think about it tonight more carefully. The correct thing for me to do. But regardless, I will never kill anyone. I mean, it's impossible. And me too. It's definitely impossible. Well, someone here is gonna disregard that later on, I can already tell. Who, cool, hon? I don't know. The great thing about this game is I le I know less about it than the first game, so I actually like dead ass don't know who's gonna be the killer. Oh, but you stupid if you know about the first game. Only. Then we should turn in for the day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Burned by uneasy thoughts, we all went back to our respective cottages. But still, mm. that was totally unexpected. I can't believe she actually said something like that so forcefully. I'll never ever let another killing happen. She's probably dealing with all this in her own way, but... Uh, I feel sleepy. I should go back too. I can't read her at all. You just hung out with her, like, not too long ago, bro. What do you mean? Not 4K <laughs> spinning you, gears. I should you understand. I understand. <laughs> uh, why do you understand about one? I mean... Honey doesn't want another killing to happen. It's pretty self-explanatory, really. A motive to kill someone, huh? 
is doing nothing at all, correct? Or is trying to stop it from happening while being aware of the danger, correct? There's no way I understand something like that. In this messed up world, there's no way I can know what's right. You know what is right though? My feeder! You don't know how tough it is to be successful. I am so jealous of people who aren't successful and don't have anything. The biggest obstacle to challenging new things is definitely your past successes. Those always hold me back all the time. I'm so jealous of people who don't have anything. People with no expectations sure are happy. I mean, they can do anything they want without worrying about anything. Man, being successful is tough. Ding dong, bing bong. Alright, I was sipping Gatorade for like 12 hours straight, so you guys can get up again. Anyways, good morning everyone! Looks like today is gonna be another Gatorade filled day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. I should go to the restaurant for now. Am I able to check my, like, Monokumas? I don't think I can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're just kind of there. Mm -hmm. Alright, who's staying outside my door this time? As if by habit, I left my cottage and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone. Oh, okay, it's the funny Yakuza man. Uh. Oh, oh, it's you, Fuyuhiko. Oh, I'm lucky. I have to see your face in the morning. Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood today. It's not like you're going to the restaurant right now. Were you planning to go somewhere else? Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. You say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? Hey, didn't I tell you I don't want to talk? Is it that game? What do you mean? So it's true. What do you have in your hand? Hey, what's that envelope? What's inside? Hey, shut up! What makes you think you have any right to question me? I'm not trying to question you, I was just... Are you saying you don't like the fact I- wait, oh, right, wrong Funny, voice. wrong voice. <laughs> Oops. Are you saying you don't like the fact I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you gonna tie me up like Nagito? Seriously, I didn't mean- Don't talk to me ever again. If you ever do, I swear I'll fucking kill you. Ah, that guy, he's gonna be dangerous if you leave him alone. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Yeah, bro really is a lone wolf. He just does whatever he feels like. Mm -hmm. Funny rat man is out here. What well, do you mean rat man? Hamster man, hamster. I meant to say. <laughs> the wind is very quiet today. I do hope it's not an ominous portent. Okay. <laughs> I agree. I agree. I did see Fleehiko earlier, but it seems he isn't going to join us for breakfast today as well. Bro just hates breakfast at this point. Uh, some things I'd like to think about. I'm going to go for a little walk. Alright. Uh, anybody else chilling outside? Can I go in the funny house? Damn it. What? Guess we're not allowed back in there. Well, you guys, Honey's gonna be gaming on the first floor. <laughs> yep, I called it. Oh, this move time. Yay! The two best girls. Yeah, they're best. Apparently, Mika has never played video games before. She's totally missing out on 90% of her life. Well, you know, values vary from person to person. Exactly. What? Jackie taught me how to play via video game. She was so nice and attentive. Uh, and, and she even battled against me. Yeah, I'm so, so, so happy. I was able to play with a friend. Thank you very much, Jackie. 
You don't have to thank me that much. I had a lot of fun too. If you like. Do you want to battle one more time? Yeah! Yes, please! <laughs> Mika looks extremely happy. I guess Honey has a sweet side too. Wow, that's like the most wholesome moment in this whole game so far. Veggie, Veggie's <laughs> so surprised now. <laughs> like, wah! <laughs> oh, and we have another one of the best girls in this game. Oh, you like her? Yeah, I do. She's growing on me. I'm glad. I also like her. She's a girl's girl. Yeah. Who, who doesn't like that? Ah, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Um, I was thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Ah, is that for Nagito? I mean, if we just leave him now tied up, he's gonna starve. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. That's why he's in the, the building. We, they tied him up there. I was wondering, yeah. like, why is he there? And I, I remembered. I'm dumb. I forgot. My bad. It's been, it's, been, it's been a week. Actually, a couple weeks. <laughs> I mean, like, how long are they planning to continue in this? Well, there's no way we can keep them tied up forever. Yeah, that's what I thought first. But maybe it's better if he was tied up forever. What does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kindly brought him breakfast. And then, listen to this. Seriously pissing me off. He said he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Does he <laughs> understand the situation he's been right now? <laughs> he was just like, nah, I don't want I don't want rice, give me toast. Yes, that sounds like a veggie thing. You know what I would do? Veggie moment. I would slap that toast in your face. Very good. <laughs> Honey, why you people? <laughs> Honey, why you people? Slap the toast. I will slap that toast on your face, yeah? <laughs> that sounds funny. Funny? Are <laughs> you people? <laughs> I don't know, it just sounds funny the way you word it. Well, how else am I supposed to word it? Like, slam it or something? Yeah, slam wouldn't be as funny, but slap <laughs> sounds funny. Yeah? <laughs> I will. I will, dumb. It is just stock whiplash sound. Maybe. Why are you doing a slow poke? That's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for you. Slow poke, what are you doing? Oh honey, I'm sipping. Let me sip. No, I won't let you sleep. <laughs> you meant to feed me rice. Oh, okay, it gives you rice. Hey, okay, no. Good bun bun. Honey, I want curry now. <laughs> Aw, curry, feedies. No, I, I haven't had that in a while. Hey, you're very good, Bumpkin. I love this curry so much. <laughs> I want curry now. Or, I wanna eat bulldog samyang. Oh, bulldog samyang. I wanna eat now. <laughs> very good, Pat Pat. Hmm. Hard? Do you really think so? Then bring this to Nagito on my behalf! Huh? I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his mate. And not only that, I just remember I have a little business to take care of. Business? So, thank you, I'll leave the rest to you. The hero pushed the tray into my hands, ran before, ran away before I could even object. Jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up at the old building where the murder took place, right? Oh, now I can go to the old building? Okay, thanks, yeah. game. Very cool. Oh, look, what's oh, The girl squad's out here. That's Nagito's food, right? You should feel honored that Makira asked you to bring him back. You better feed him quickly. 
She says that like he's a pet. That's kind of harsh. I mean, honestly, she treats everyone like shit. It's normal. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you doing? You kind of forced this on me, you know? I don't say force you. You're the one who agreed to do it, right? I always have some, some things to do, too. But Hyoko said... Hurry, me. You're in the way. I and I are gonna go to the supermarket right now. We're gonna get candy for each other, right? I know, I know, but don't cling on me like that. It's hard to walk, okay? And we can still hold hands, hee <laughs> hee. Yep, of course. But I really can't spend too much time with you, okay? I have some things I need to take care of. Ah, oh, so boring. I will stitch Hajime already and go. Oh, the Hajime, I'll leave it to you. Yoga's totally attached to Mihiro. They kind of look like sisters. Yeah, I was just about to say that, actually. You got little sister, big sister energy. Yeah. Kind of does. And we got funny cream soda man over here. Man, it's so unlike me to sleep in. Ooh, what's with that tray? Are you gonna eat somewhere with a nice view? Hey, don't tell me. You're not gonna have a picnic lunch with this Sonya, are you? It's not even lunchtime. This is breakfast for Nagito. Oh, I see. Sorry to trouble you with taking care of him. If you really mean that, you wanna switch with me? Uh, well that's obviously a little awkward. I'll let you handle it, Ajime. He totally ran away. Why is everyone on <laughs> They just don't want to deal with his ass. Oh, you, you can check. Oh, that's a jump scare. <laughs> Boony jump scare. Oh no, no! This old building is being renovated. You can't go inside. If I'm not allowed inside, why is Nagito inside? Oh, what? You know about it too, Hajime? Because Nikumara and Kazuichi Ernest told me that Adam is the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. I came here to deliver food to him. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? <laughs> it's okay to go inside then? Yes, make sure to tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. Alright, which means I get to investigate. Hell yeah. In case there's anything secret in here, cause... In the... office? There, there was a Monokuma. Which one's the office? I don't know. I mean, there's this. The storage room. What do you know? Um... Okay, well this is the dining hall. We have uh, the kitchen. We're so wonky at this. Which one's the office? <laughs> Jeez, you're stupid. Go search. Dining hall, kitchen, storage room, dining hall. Oh, okay, I see. Toilet. Oh, here, it's right here. In the shell wardrobe thing? Oh, you already collected him then. I did? Okay. Yeah, then you yeah. missed on the black one. Maybe. I can't really. No, maybe. I can't really no, tell which one. Maybe because ones. for sure, dumbass. Shut up. Well, is there anything that keeps track of your Monokumas? Like, which no. ones you've collected? No? Okay. Well, it says he's in here, so let's go in here. So Nagito's tied up at the back. Instinctively, I gulp back my dry saliva. Why am I so nervous? Pushing aside my nervous tension, I vigorously open the door to the dining hall. As I quietly peek through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. <laughs> Hajime? Uh, could it be? 
Did you take the time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Wow, I'm so happy. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality, but feel free to relax. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling from his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help but feel at that moment. Huh? What happened? Your face was kind of scary. I didn't come here to talk to you, I just came here to bring you some food. So, come on, eat it. Huh? You're not gonna feed me? Oh what do you God. mean? Well, I can't eat on my own, you know, since my hands are all tied up. Actually, I was really embarrassed as a girl to feed me, so I'm glad you're the one who came. I get it, friggin' Mihiru. I don't see why she asked me to go instead of her. Anyway, what happened to Mihiru? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? By the way, I heard about Twilight Syndrome murder case, was it? I have mixed feelings. I really liked that game a lot. Don't change the subject, I'm asking you. Oh well, I'm a little disappointed. It's not like you ultimates to ignore a threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will just let that slide? Well, that is... You guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. He almost sounds reasonable. Running away from your problems isn't a solution, it's just putting it off. But... I don't want to be tricked by you anymore. Bye now. Oh, hey, Hajime, weren't you planning to feed me? Hey, Hajime! <laughs> he just left his food that, there. That's scary. Damn it, I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. Is it really okay to leave that game alone? While I'm doing nothing about it, someone else is... No, nothing good can come thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. Spend time with people, <laughs> obviously. Alright, well, let's see where everybody's at. Oh, wow, I got lots of people. I could hang I could hang out with him actually. I think. I mean free time's not gonna limit me on who I can hang out with, right? Maybe. Mm. Oops. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's hang. Job, let's hang out with him. All these tied up. That'll go well. Good job, hon. Thank you, hon. Now he was tied up beyond this point, but I don't want to see him right now. What do you mean? Damn it! Hey, hon. Hey, hon. Uh -huh. Hi, hon. Oh, mama. All right. Mama. Well, what I should actually do is I should look at my report card and see who I haven't leveled up yet. Um... A lot. Let's see, um... Soda... Yakuza Man... Miss Eats A Lot, Sonia... Little Sister... Guitar Girl... And Sword Girl. Just one, I'm just one I'm gonna remember them by at this point. I mean, I'd love to level up Hajime, but now I can't. Sad. Or not Hajime, uh, Nagito. <laughs> I guess I'll have to wait. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I guess I'll see who's close by. I mean, Peiko was outside. Uh, Chiaki, you're in the restaurant. Actually, a lot of people are in their cottages. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, you know what? I think I want to get to know Peiko a little bit more. I think she was over here. I don't understand why that game is the mode at all. However, this isn't good. It might be good if I do some training to calm myself down. Yeah, let's hang out. Because uh, I know barely anything about her. I want to get to know her better. I'm going to train. Also, she's one of my favorite characters from this game. She's so underrated. Yeah, I, I can tell. I never hear anything about her. For watching me, what would be boring. Would you like to try too? Teach you how to properly grip a bamboo sword. Ooh. Spent time today learning how to wield a bamboo sword from Peiko. Well, if you had the present cave fake store, you would give it to her, but I don't know if you have like. I don't think I bought the fake the, the, the fake sword, the uh, bamboo sword. No, it was called a fake sword. Fake sword? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have ghost stones, toy camera, tips, so let me use that already. Jewelry. Yeah, I might I might have to wait on that then. It's cool that we're hanging out, but we're not really talking about anything. Hey Peiko, do you like Kendo? Yes. This conversation isn't progressing. Um, is your house a Kendo Dojo? Sort of. Sort of? Is there something wrong with that? No, I was just wondering. Peiko's stare is really intense. Might be best if I change the subject. Uh, let's see, a topic that probably won't offend her too much. Oh, I know. Peiko, what level are you? Are you talking about my Kendo level? I don't have one. Huh? Dojo trainees typically earn levels corresponding to their years of training. However, I have no need for that. Why? Don't people normally aim for that kind of advancement? I have no such aim. My destination has already been decided. Protect who I must protect, cut who I must cut. That alone is the original purpose of the sword. Wielding a blade in its truest sense is my aim. And this is my reason for existing. To achieve that, I have no use whatsoever for meaningless levels determined by arbitrary rules. I see. Peiko just isn't a typical kendo athlete. She truly is the ultimate swordswoman. How can I ask such a foolish question about levels? I don't really know much about kendo, but I think you're really cool. You're kind of like a samurai. Really cool? We say such strange things. No one has ever said that to me before. Oh well, it's fine. Never mind. She seems very awkward. Is she blushing? Hmm. However, because of the path I've chosen, there are things I've lost as well. Warm, irreplaceable things. What did you lose? Fluffiness. Oh, honey, fluffy. Veggie yeah, mentioned. Yeah, yeah, hon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't hey. lost veggie. I still have veggie, thankfully. <laughs> Probably full I have veggie. Veggie, I want to lose you. Okay? Veggie, veggie will never lose his fluffiness. Veggie, I won't lose you, okay? Oh, you won't. Good. Fluffiness? There are things that are warm, fluffy, and soft. The cow that came to visit the dojo, my childhood friend's dog, and even the finch I had as a pet. All animals can sense my meaning menacing presence are run away from me. I just to go touch their soft fur, fluffy feathers to my heart's content. 
I see, that's really painful. I'm really surprised. I thought she was going to talk about an event from her past or something. Oh, then what about asking Gundam if you can touch his hamsters the next time you see him? He might be able to help you out. He probably knows a way to keep animals from running away from you. I see. You do have a point. Although Susan's hamsters are called the four dark devas destructions. No, honey, divas. Like, D who's this diva right there? Diva? <laughs> well, like, pop diva? <laughs> honey, who's this diva right here? I don't know. Who is this diva? <laughs> mm, I don't Purple know, heart. Purple <laughs> heart. <laughs> Peggy doesn't get that reference very good. No, I don't. Very good, you better know. Okay. Mama, a girl behind you. <laughs> Mama. Mama. Oh, you know who's behind you? Uh, Big. Oh, I hope so. Is she? Yeah. Oh, hi, Big. I love you. They might not get scared of me and run away. Also, I love the face reaction so much. <laughs> Relatable. Me when I kill a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I should look for Gundam right now. Her eyes look scary. I think Gundam's hamsters might actually freak out. Hajime, thank you for your advice. If you like, please come talk to me again. Goodbye. Well, that was fun. Pekka yeah, walked off in a hurry. She must be really desperate to touch something fluffy. But based on this, I feel like I was able to significantly close the distance between me and her. Next time, I'd be able to talk to her normally. Yeah, I'm actually glad I got to learn about her. Because <laughs> she was always one of the more mysterious characters in this game to me. Yes, I didn't know was. anything about her. But now, but now I know her as a cool, cool sword girl who wants to pet things. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's something you'd completely miss out on if you never talked to her. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Yep, so you know what time it is. It's based onion time. Where are you going? I'm gonna go talk to Wifey again, obviously. Just gotta find her on the map. I think this is what I'll do from that one. Just do like one person I haven't hung out with and then just do wifey until she's maxed out. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever I'm playing games, I get a strong urge to eat whatever food appears in the game. <laughs> That's me. That is so me. <laughs> Why you laugh? It's cute. It's true. Why is it cute? I wanna eat her now. That's oh, not I'm funny. No. Um, Good wifey. See? That's even confirmed. I want to eat three. So I guess I want to eat donuts right now. Yeah, let's hang out. Donuts. I wonder if the server market has any donuts. Alright, I should go check. We found donuts and spent time eating them and talking to each other. Wow, good. Is that is that a day idea? Going out to eat yes, donuts hun. and talking? Yes, hun. Actually, we can get coffee and donuts, and then Honey will get to drink something that. she loves. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yay! Let's go to cafe then. All right, great idea. Looks okay. like Honey and I grew a little closer. Um, what kind of gifts can I give? I mean, we were just talking about food, so why don't we give her some chocolate chip jerky? <laughs> Present from Hajime. Oh uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy. Thanks. Hmm. I'm sleepy right now <laughs> too, to be honest. Yeah. I wanna sleep. Every single time. I can't believe how quickly she falls asleep in such a short time. That's relatable. I, s I fall asleep only a few seconds. <laughs> Samurai head such liberates me. No, oh, don't shoot the beat here. This is a bad combination. 
He's in the is she dreaming about a game? I have no idea what kind of game she's talking about. Oh, sorry, I seem to sleep again. Were you playing a game in your dream too? Yeah, it was fun because it was a shooting game. I see. So you like those kinds of games? I'm pretty all inclusive. I play anything from space invaders to the largest military shooters. I also like simulation games. Right now, I mainly play real time strategy games, but I like Spring Beats ones too. So, where do you want to go today? Yeah, how do we go to the ranch today? I don't really like animals that much. Hmm, really? They're warm when you touch them, you know? That's a little scary. Kinda of hard to get what you'll do next. Another game that use precise calculations for success and failure is decided by numeric for all use. But it's hard for me to play games where I have to manage relationships and guess what characters are feeling. I see. Maybe that has something to do with her upbringing. I don't want to do things Honey will hate, but it feels lonely to just leave her like this. How about we look at the animals from far away? The ones at the ranch are pretty tame. You can even try to touch them if it looks safe. Uh, okay. If you teach me lots of things, it will probably be okay, I think. Is she relying on me? If so, that makes me happy. Honey and I decided to walk to the ranch. Oh my, it's a cow. I wonder if it's gonna dance like the one in Dancing Guys. That might be a little difficult. Huh? Maybe I should try touching it a little. Honey walked up to the cow and cautiously pet its back. The cow seemed to not mind and continued silently eating grass. Wow, it's really warm. Well, that's because it's alive. I see, you're right. Veggie is so damn freaking lame, I'm serious. Well, duh, it's warm because it's alive. <laughs> Veggie is trying to seem smart even though he's stupid. Yeah, he is. Yeah, like real life Veggie, telling you. Oh my goodness, real life onion mentioned. Mm hmm, real life onion. <laughs> Yay. Very cute, so beloved. <laughs> beloved. I like humans, I also mind being touched that much, so it might make it easier for me. If you touch a person, something's born from that interaction, right? Repulsion, anticipation, whatever. I'm nervous about stuff like that, it makes me think I'm better off not doing anything unnecessary. Like it's better if I just stay an innocent bystander for as long as I can. Honey's feelings seem a little odd, but I do understand where she's coming from. I hope one day she can touch not just cows, but people too. Oh, you know, if we milk this cow, I'm sure the fresh milk will be really tasty. Milk this cow? Huh? Oh, uh, you know, that milk comes from cows, right? What do you mean, some Milk is milk, right? You know, if you pull a cow's udders, milk comes out. You only need one cow to get as much milk as you want. As much as you want. But if you try to cut open a milk bottle, a cow comes out of it, right? And that's it, right? I knew it. It's definitely dancing, guys. <laughs> Seriously, what kind of game is she talking about? <laughs> I explained how milk works to honey in detail. Why are there so many things she doesn't know? As usual, Honey's full, full of mysteries. Yay! Honey started to feel sleepy from playing too much, so after sending her off, I returned to my room. I'm a, I'm a sleep now. Good night, hon. Aw, good nighty. Good night. Ding dong, bing bong. 
Alright guys, it's, not, it's time to stop petting the cows for a day and listen to what I have to say. It's now 10 p.m. Did you guys know it's 10 p.m.? Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently relax you. Because I'm playing a game. It's called a drink. I love drinking, guys. See you later. Too much yaps. Too much yaps. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Boy, well, are you sick of veggie already? Mm-mm. Okay. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep, but I can't stop thinking about that game. Bro's addicted. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. Twilight Syndrome murder case, huh? I should give it a try. Just a little. Just to see how it is. Yeah, that's how I was with the Mr. Beast chocolate bar, and we all saw how well that went. It tastes bad. <laughs> it tastes really lame. It's the best thing. No, hey, hey, look, it's honey. Huh? Why are you going at this summer? The mother Puma announcement was just made. Well, you know, what about you? What are you doing? I was about to go back to my college. Anyway, what about you? What do you mean, you know? Um... I felt a little hungry, so I was thinking about getting a snack from either the restaurant or supermarket. I see. Wow, you lied to honey, how could you? So in in disingenuous. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be going now, see you later. Hi, me. Huh? Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like she totally saw through me. Yeah, I'm off to the island and I'm gonna walk my pet some more. And I'm gonna do my funny strut as I get over there. <laughs> I'll never get over this fucking run cycle. It's just too funny. Uh, speaking of which, how is my pet doing? It pooped! That's not good, the spare meter went up for a bit. Yeah, exactly, hon. Okay, let me just save then real quick. Hey, there's the beach. Good thing I checked on that before the spare meter got too uh, high up. Me. My hero, what are you doing here? Oh uh, yeah, about that. I was thinking about taking a picture of the ocean at night. The ocean at night? Isn't it dangerous? Be careful. Yeah, sure thing. Bye. She seemed pretty agreeable. Usually she'll say something like, mind your own business. Hmm, <laughs> that is true. And go the long way around. Second island. The park. So here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it, so I should just go for it. I guess for now I should try playing it a little. I cautiously stood in front of the arcade game and the screen automatically lit up. As I faced the screen I put my hand on the joystick. Monokuma Soft. This game has a strange old fashioned vibe to it. I wonder if the person who's controlling the Monokuma is actually pretty old. Oh well, I should try to start it up. I'll start if I press the start button, right? Honey. What? Wakey wakey. Let's begin. Twilight Syndrome Magic. Okay, so please press the start button with your own hands. Wait, 
Why are we on the second day randomly? <laughs> uh, should we read the dialogue? Cause I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh jeez. Oh, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. I was waiting. Gonna hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting in class for one day. Suddenly, just a completely different game now. Yep. Honey, you missed, you stupid. I bet you missed. Man, you finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? I'm sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. Um, don't be mad. You're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Oh, okay. It goes off to the B for now. I asked great character names. Oh, uh, we're here because you have something important to say, right? What's this about? Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Girl E. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Y yeah. Huh? What new? What newspaper? God, you're such a slow book. Really? It's in today's evening newspaper. This one here. Here you go. Just read it. July 8th, around 6 a.m., a janitor from XS Academy came to work. And it's got a body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student has been struck for forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already dead. The scene the killer broke a window to escape based on the details of the crime, authorities say. The investigation is ongoing and believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit death. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. It says someone may have struck snuck into the school, so they might be taking it that appropriate to it. It is the only week they have. I mean, her school swims do get stolen too. That sick twist bastard. <laughs> so random. Sneaking into the school to see a link is a swimsuit. Speaking of a nearby girl, and escaping out the window. Yeah, we're at home in danger too. But it, is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover a body, and we can't cut to that secret. It would have been the same no matter who found the body first, don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right. All we did was find a body and not report it. That's not really a crime. But still... I know you're a master hit, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm final student and this guy and me. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this. Right? Isn't that right, Goldie? Yeah, I, I agree, but... What's up? You don't seem so sure. Um, I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Really? I wonder what's going on. What does Fia want to talk about? Hmm, let's find out. To be honest, I, I ended up taking circles of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. Where are the those bones now? I have them right here. Wow! I don't want to look at them. You're definitely gonna get cursed. Cursed? Stupid. 
versus ours even real. It's too easy to throw away those foes. Give them to me. Ah, uh, hey. Is it bad if you're ready like that, Chris? I just said curses don't exist. It's better to just rip those fuzzes straight out and throw them into the incinerator. Girl D, if you have any to do copies, you need to erase those too. Okay. Hey girl E, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? Never mind. Let's just forget about the whole incident. We have nothing to do with it. We aren't the one first ones to discover a body. Okay, the end. Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Okay, and we're just skipping to the fourth day, apparently. Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is too close. I was probably going by the back right now. And I guess I have to go back on my own. Seems around the time the incident occurred too. Like, jeez, why am I thinking about something so stupid again? It's fine, I can just go and screw up and forget about that incident. You voice out. Okay. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. Forgive me. Forgive me. Never. Never, 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 never. What? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. <laughs> Her head is split open like the one time. It's probably the Chris. It's the Chris. It's all the Chris fault because of the girl's girl E. What happened to girl E? Take a look in their class 1B. Which one's classroom 1B? One Bitch, you shut the fuck up, just search for once. You're so lazy. Um, it's not letting me go in. Hello, are you gonna let me in? <laughs> what, button did I, what button did I press to go in there you're the first time? Stupid, dumb. I'm supposed to know? I don't, I don't know. Shut up, jeez. Do it. I'm pressing all the buttons, nothing's happening. Talk, examine. Yeah, I'm pressing A, nothing's happening. Man, you're stupid as well. Why am I stupid? Nothing's happening. Cause, you, Cause you broke the fucking game. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. How? Cause you're not progressing anywhere. Oh, I got an idea. Hmm. Mm. Nope, nothing's happening. I can move. Oh, there we go. Now it wants to work. Damn, okay. <laughs> Game over. Huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game structure doesn't make sense. It started with the second day all of a sudden and jumped to the fourth day afterward. Why were the first day and third day skipped? 
And what's with this down five message on the game over screen? Down five? Who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be the motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? For now, it's a waste of time to just stay here, so I should go back to my cottage and think about it. I went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented. As I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. Wow, you guys must really enjoy my theater! Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well at all this morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then. Suddenly, an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman's sign on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do no. I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No? Why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting this urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran to the restroom meant for gentlemen and what awaited me was... Another important question. The important question that stood me before me was the Western style and Japanese style signs on each door. Oh no. I was definitely born in Japan, but how have I forgotten what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good? Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions waiting for you. That's what life is all about. Oh, the Western style and Japanese style. <laughs> Bing dong, bing bong. Good morning, everybody. Hope you enjoyed my talk about poop last night. That was pretty entertaining. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm about taking a poop. Morning, huh? In the end, that game's still a mystery. I don't even know why it would be a motive. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing with everyone. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't know how a game could be a motive either, so... I'm just about as confused as he is. Uh, let's see how my uh, pet's doing. Does the despair meter ever go down? Maybe if you give them enough presents. Hmm. How about some blue ram? Yeah, okay. See? See? Told you. So... I, does something good happen if I max out the hope meter? I don't remember. Hmm, I guess we'll find out. That'll be fun. Oh, hey, Mekon. Uh, good morning. Such a nice day today. I'm so glad it's sunny. I mean, if it wasn't sunny, it'd be a waste. Hasn't every day been sunny, though? <laughs> huh? Waste? Uh, it's nothing. I was only mumbling to myself just now. So I'll kiss my first self. Self first. Waste what? Something going on? Anybody else here? Oh, I say I see a bookie on the other side. What are you groaning about? Ibuki isn't groaning for some gross reason like the Gumara does. I worry about a more sublime, a more serious matter. And that matter is? Ibuki's music genre from now on. Music genre? I escaped the pop sounds of the girl band genre, so I'm thinking about changing my musical sounds completely. Uh, I see. Well, there's something that comes to mind. This is very troubling. Honey, if you think of anything, I'll look forward to hearing your advice. 
But is that something you can really decide on a whim? Oh, but we're gonna go into the Funi building. Good morning, Hyoko. Doesn't Jackie get bored of playing the same game over and over again? She's not gonna reply to my greeting, is she? I don't understand gamers at all. In fact, I don't even want to understand them. Seriously, Emma here is such a weirdo. Eh, except for Matthew. When I'm with you guys, I feel like I'm gonna become a weirdo too. I feel like you already are one. <laughs> Damn, savage. Good morning. Good morning, Hajime. Well, it's rare for you to reply so quickly in the morning. Yeah, I just finished playing a game right now. But importantly, I was just wondering, someone bringing food to Nagito? Oh boy, is it gonna be me again? I brought him food yesterday morning, I don't know about the others. Is it alright if I see how he's doing later? I'll head over to the restaurant for now. Okie dokie, let's go to the restaurant then. Yo, everybody's here! Good morning, Hajime. Yeah, good morning. After greeting everybody, I put some food on my plate and sat myself at a table near the window. What is it, Hajime? Is that all you're gonna eat? You just eat too much, okay? You don't want to talk, all you need is candy. Just because it's candy doesn't mean you should make fun of it. Actually, I will make fun of it. <laughs> it's going to have four different fruit flavors, so I'm sure they're full of nutrition. You should just eat real fruit. <laughs> Facts. Seems like a bad time to bring up that game all of a sudden. I and mean, we did agree before that we shouldn't even play it. Is Mihiro missing? Huh? After Gundam said that, I looked around at the restaurant, and sure enough, there was no sign of Mihiro. He's always here every morning. It's strange for her not to come. What if she's not feeling well? If she doesn't feel good, that's fine, but there's a small chance that she's... A small chance she's what? Mm, I saw my hero. She was outside the hotel. Ah, oh, I see. She don't say such a spooky thing. <laughs> She's still hanging photos of the beach. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Sponge, may I about you run around in a circle through that and say, Woof and jump off a cliff. I don't want to die like that. What about. Oh, what was Mikey were doing outside the hotel? She said she wanted to be alone, I even asked her to come in with us, but she turned it down. Wanted to be alone? Maybe he's wanted to play that game. Why are you sitting here, Bob? There is no way my here would play video games. I don't like that slowpoke gaming girl over there. Hi, huh? you're referring to me? I love how he's just like not phased at all. He's like, huh, me? <laughs> yeah. Looks like it's gonna be impossible to start talking about that game. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat down across from me at the table. Hey, Ajime, you got a second? What is it? Kaz leaned forward out of his seat, glanced quickly around the room, and whispered to me. Today, 2.30pm, come to the supermarket. But don't tell anyone else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What does he mean it's bad? Hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst yourselves? Eh, nothing. It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. Oh, hmm. he got jealous. Do you think I was worried about you fiends? 
<laughs> you make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You've elevated arrogance to an art form. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who are destined to be crushed? My name is Gundam Tanaka. I am the forbidden ruler who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. All I desire is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. I never took him for the lonely type. Anyway, Hajime, that's what's happening, so see you then. Just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Huh? Conserve my energy? Uh, see you later. What was that about? Instead of talking about games, I received a strange request from Kaz. And that day's breakfast came to an end. Hmm. Kaz told me to go to the supermarket at 2.30. But what do you mean when he told me to conserve my energy? Well, I guess I shouldn't wander too far right now. I mean, if you use up all your energy, then you're gonna need a Snickers later, and that's not good. Shut up, Veg, you're not funny at all. <laughs> Stop. Hmm. Oh, what? Stop. Honey. Stop, honey. Why, no. you so, why are you so grumpy now, huh? I'm not grumpy. Okay, well, be good then, honey. I am good, what do you mean? Good. Alright, let's see who we should hang out with today. There's a lot more free time in this game than I thought. I feel like it's more plentiful than the first game, is that just me? You're weird. I'm weird now. Yes, you are. Hmm. Well, speaking of which, we probably should hang out with Kaz. But where is he? Supermarket, hello? Supermarket? Did you need to meet him here? No, like... During free time, I mean. I, I don't think I see him anywhere on the map. I mean, need to go. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking around. I don't see him on the map anywhere. Well, guess we can, uh... Guess we can go to the hotel and hang out with people there instead. The illusion of choice. Nobody's here? You're stupid. I guess everybody's in the, uh, the restaurant. No. Oh, Sonya's here. Let's hang out with her. Speaking of Japanese detective dramas, I'm a huge fan of Barkata Son. However, Police Western Division is also wonderful. I get chills whenever the di diamond force appears. Yeah, let's hang out with Sonya then. Ajime, which side are you on? Are you Team Taka or Team Yuji? I spent time today listening to Sonya talk about detective dramas. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. Hmm. What presents would she like, I wonder? Um. Jewelry, maybe? That's very princess like. Thank you for your time. I shall gladly receive this. No problem. I must say, this island is truly a wonderful place. The weather is calm and the sea is blue. Really a perfect resort setting. That might be true, but... Oh, this is something strange. No, I was just thinking that you're strangely calm right now. Sonya, are you really not worried about our current situation? Of course I am worried, and I'm also angry. Jeez, this is not something to joke about. Who's joking? Oh, however, what happens next depends on us. As long as we do not kill anyone, this will all be fine. That's the right attitude, but... Besides, I have to... I have come here to learn about your country. I don't understand if this were a homeland, but in this game, 
This land is foreign to me. I do not intend to kill anyone. I do not intend to be killed easily either. The way she said that sounded a little dangerous. If this were my homeland, so would this be okay in your country? Anyway, let's just forget about killing. I'm hoping with the one another so we can return home quickly. If you have any good ideas, feel free to let me know. I shall also do my best to think of something, too. Yeah, you're right. When I speak to Sonia, I somehow feel really positive and optimistic. Mm-hmm, such an honor. Raise your head, there's no need to worry. What she's saying sounds odd, but she certainly looks the part. Typical of a princess, I guess. Oh, that reminds me, what was the name of your country? As I recall, the country's name was... Um... I actually don't remember. <laughs> Does Honey know? Maybe second? That one sounds the most right. It was the Novo Selic Kingdom, right? Mm-hmm. So it says so, you finally remember. Well, it's not a country I've ever heard of. Yes, yeah, that is in our sample. It's often overlooked by cartographers. Our novel select kingdom is an experienced kind of country and governed by an absolute monarchy. Though the population is small, our economy is thriving, so we are not in dark straits at all. For generations, the royal family has protected the kingdom and its people from its neighboring countries. Thanks to that, the people still have complete trust towards the royal family. And also, wine and chocolate is one of our country's hidden specialities. I see, it really does sound like a kingdom. So since you're the princess of that kingdom, does that mean you live in a castle or something? Of course, the royal power has been living in the royal castle for over a thousand years. Now, maybe you all are small, the castle is truly a wonderful historic building. Of course, it's easy to get lost in our subterranean labyrinth, and our barracks are fully equipped as well. So, castles really do have those. Um, anyway, is it right if I ask you something as well? Hmm, if I can answer it, it's fine. Who did you have your heart on in initially, and who do you intend to switch to later? Huh? This situation is truly simple. The story of seven men and a woman. I believe it was a style of tactic to start wavering and robbing partners. Ah, uh, hold on, what are you talking about? You really have no idea? This is Japan, Blueberry, John Rama. I'm bit really upbeat, then it gets really serious. I never expected that to happen. I was like, oh seriously, what is going to happen? I just could not take my eyes off the screen. Oh my girl's feeling at this time where My goodness, it's so intense. I think to listen to Sonia extensively talk about Japanese dramas. At least now I totally understand she's a major J drama fangirl. Yay! More level ups. After politely excusing myself from my long conversation with Sonya, I left the area. Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kaz. He told me to come to the supermarket. What's he thinking all of a sudden? And keeping a secret from the others. I don't want to think about it, but if he's plotting to... No, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. <laughs> it turns out he just wants to buy, like, you know, a liter of soda and some Mentos. Huh? It's well past the arranged time, and there's no sign of cause. All of a sudden, the anxiety I've been keeping inside me began to swell up like a balloon until... Yo! Ugh! Ugh. What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late. 
plate? Oh, I get it. I totally forgot he's that kind of guy. A guy who doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asked me to come. That kind of guy. Well, sort of makes sense. So, what do you want? Why'd you call me out here like this? Well, you know, can you do me a little favor? A little favor? I just overheard something. Apparently, it's Miss Sonia's idea for a change of pace. Looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around the beach. Doesn't seem so secret now. Wait, don't tell me you... As expected, Miss Sonia splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. I admire her so much, it's shocking. My heart trembles around there so much it's about to burst out. Or burn out, whatever. So, let's crash it together. Why me? Well, it's weird to fake a coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? So, how about a scenario where you and I go to the beach, and then we run into the girls by coincidence? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any of the other guys to help me with this. Nekomaru can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam is, well, Gundam. Fuihiku and Nagito are out of the question. I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey, I took the day to repair your swimsuit, you know. And now you're just gonna walk all over by kind act. You're snapping at me? If you say no, I'm gonna bug about it until you die. There's no way he's joking about that. This is cause, after all. If I have no choice, then fine. Yahoo! That's my Hajime. And how a th that's how a soul brother should act. So, what do I have to do? Well, based on what I overheard, looks like they're going to the Chandler Beach on the second island. That's why we gotta head over there to that diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're gonna act like it's just a coincidence. Got it, so I need to go to the diner. Yahoo! I'm getting all psychic now. Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like you can't take a hint. <laughs> Yeah, you got anything else to say? Uh, okay. Um... Anything else worth investigating? Like the cola. Nah, I think we just need to go there. I think we just need to head on over to the diner then. Which I think is on the second island. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll mosey on over there. Is it because the diner's, like, right next to the beach or something? Oh, hey, you're here now! How did you get all the way over here so fast? <laughs> Bro's teleporting. Oh, and, and Gundam was there, too. I missed him. Rip. Actually, I want to go talk to him real quick. I already told you. All I want is silence and indifference. I see. Hey, Hajime, it's all good. Let's hurry up and go. You look so lonely. If you want to hang out, just say so. Yeah, he's, he's got his rats. Hamsters to keep him company. I don't like you calling them rats. They're hamsters, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna do my... Funi run cycle and get over there. Oh, he's te he's teleporting again. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. This is not where the second island is. Wait, so why is he over there then? Oh, that's weird. Oh, hey, he's here again. Okay, well the diner is right over here. Alrighty, the leaves aren't here yet. Let's hurry up and go inside. I. <laughs> Alright, we're here. Now we just have to stake out a spot and wait until the leaves arrive. Uh, is he sure about this plan? I mean, isn't this a little too stalkerish? 
Yeah, what else are we supposed to do? And when are they gonna come? Did you happen to overhear that with your sensitive ears too? They mentioned something about coming a little after the, you know, sun starts to tilt, so maybe around 4 p.m.? It's 3 p.m. right now, I still have to wait one more hour? Always make your move early, that's just the basics, you know? Hey, I don't know if you should be talking like an expert right now. It's fine, it's fine. Just make sure they keep the- just make sure to keep watch by the window. It'd be bad if you didn't catch Miss Sonya on our way to the beach, you know? It's our job to keep that from happening. To get to the beach, they gotta pass in front of the diner. You better keep your eyes peeled, this isn't a game. If this isn't a game, then what is it? I really should've just said no. Sitting at a table by the window, I rested my chin in my hands and absentmindedly stared out the window. Are they coming? Do they arrive? Hasn't even been 10 minutes yet. 20 minutes passed, and then 30 minutes. As time passed, the only thing that grew were the volume of my sights and the weight of my regret. Say, what kind of swimsuit do you think Miss Sonia will wear? Since she's a foreigner, how about a bikini? Don't you feel like there's a pure innocent mythical fantasy hiding between the top and bottom of a bikini? Even if I wanted to agree with you, I don't know how to answer that. Wait, huh? That's when it happened. In the corner of my eye, a certain someone walked by the front of the diner. Huh, isn't that... I wonder what happened. I guess I should head over. What is it, a uh, Fuyuhiko again or something? Yep, called it. <laughs> you bastards! I knew it was you, Fuyuhiko. What are you doing here? That's my line! What the heck? You're awfully tense. Actually, why do you see so flustered? Why are you calling me flustered? Don't go making false accusations, you bastard! Don't tell me. Aw oh, man, is that it? You overheard my plan, didn't you? Plan? It's no use playing dumb. You overheard my plan and follow us all the way here, right? <laughs> Honey... Honey, it's time to wake up. Honey, are you asleep now? Did you fall asleep on me? I think Honey did fall asleep on me. I can save in the middle of this, right? Yeah, I did. Well, I don't know what to do until Honey gets back. So... Maybe I should pause or call it a day, I don't know. Honey, honey, wakey, wakey. I guess honey fell asleep. Well, since I don't know what else to do, maybe I'll do um, an intro, or an outro rather. So, uh, thank you for watching this episode of Danganronpa 2, everybody. Make sure to like and subscribe to me, the veggie, and make sure to check out Cinnabon at Kafalo on Twitter and Instagram. And we'll see everybody in the next episode of Dang and Rampa. It is a bit of an awkward place to end, but it looks like she passed out on me. So uh, it's a good thing I can just, you know save and quit whenever so yeah i guess we'll uh see everybody in the next episode <laughs>